give us information, like what kind of things, what kind of things would they use? Let me see this. In 2005, uh, Rap gave $190,000 to this guy's clubhouse. Would have any, any, any kind of say over, over funding that was given to the park, to where it went, how far it was used? Uh, uh, all five, that's like, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's like, and it was still open there because it, it, was, it, it was used to yeah. say. Yeah, in 99, I got hired in 01 full time. Uh, 99 was the last year I taught in that building. And it, I taught and there were ceiling tiles falling down. Yeah, yeah. that's why the money was given to the media department. Like I said, I don't, so, I don't uh, deal you with know, after, any of that. After the, um, I know they did have the funds, but they and they said that they weren't going to be invested because it wasn't, it wasn't fit um, the department of, of um, fire department came and inspected it and they said it wasn't appropriate. So they were they they were they were gonna put the money in there no matter what because it it, it, it wasn't worth it it wasn't worth it they needed to demolish it, demolish it and rebuild it because it wasn't meeting the standards. Yeah, could you, mm -hmm. community member, do you have more information? I really, yeah. I have, I literally like I'll come to work and sometimes there's like trucks, you know, doing something. I'm like, what are they doing? And I think they have, you know, maintenance has a cycle, construction has a cycle of like projects that they have ongoing. They're on a list. Um, like I didn't know that they were gonna paint the gym. Oh, I didn't know they were gonna redo the floors. We put in, we put in job orders, and you know, they get they get to them, you know, according to I guess funding, time, availability. So um, you know, when they call you and they tell you, hey, we're gonna paint your gym, you're I mean, you're loving it because you know you see the, the ceiling, you know, cracking, the walls, you need it, and so when it happens, you're excited and you you want improvements. You know, I, I gotta share with you. I was I was. Um, this past few months, we to the clubhouse, and they, they have said it's been it's been damaged because of uh, contamination, asbestos, and that pain. But when we looked at the, at, at the actual study we had last year, I think mean, we got last year, the the levels of asbestos and lead are minimal. I mean, and, and they were actually they came out here two weeks ago to clean it up from from that. They were done in four days. They were done in four days. So that's I mean, right now it's as far as as Brad is concerned and his concerned, it's clean. It's starting to be rebuilt right now. There's no more lead paint, no more any kind of material that's uh, toxic to the, to the community. Mm -hmm. What I don't understand is so toxic. All these things there. So now, well, no, it wasn't, and, and it wasn't, it wasn't only toxic. It was um, that uh, that uh, it was literally they were afraid that the ceiling was gonna sink in. So you have to get the money for that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it, it wasn't used there. It went, everything, everything went towards the senior center. I know, uh, last year, or 2012, it was kind of just five years. Five years later. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, as long as I don't, I'm not in these discussions. I know, I'm just saying, I, really, I know who's in my and I think also But I don't want to get stuck on what, I mean, I really want you guys to help me out with the programming and improving the park and, you know, giving me suggestions, but I don't want to get stuck on what should have been done, could have been done. Well, um, and, and just understand that from my end, this is what I want is to improve the park program. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. I want to clear up, find out about, more about this email being sent out from the office. Like, what is... I told you, I mean, I told you what I know. Right, I know right. that but, but when saying... the planning starts, they're probably going to ask the board to give your input on what should go there either temporarily or, you know, permanently. So, yeah, definitely there's, it's important that we have a park advisory board in play and people that actually use the park and are invested in the park and live in the community. You stay, one well, other thing, if you read the bylaws, it's stakeholders. People that have an interest. It would be great if, if someone who knows about uh, how to access park funds from the Wrecking Parks can come and talk to us about this is the procedure. You have to go to the council's office, or one of you has to write a request, or whatever procedure it is. Someone who knows, just tell us, so that way we all know. And then okay. there's no issue about let's, going. Let's do that as an agenda item once we get the board established and once everything's selected. Because what what ended up happening is most of our meetings were consumed with you guys wanting that information and me not providing it, and then you know the programming and the actual you know support that I had hoped the park advisory board would bring didn't happen, and it was all. I know that you guys are invested in your community, but it's really out of my level and sometimes I can't answer these questions and it's, I mean, I've been to the LA32 meetings, I know how it goes, like sometimes it doesn't go anywhere because you guys are fighting back and forth. Um, so I really want, you know, I want the support of parents that are invested in, in the programs and that's 
because that's what I have control of. I don't know what the council or what my management does, and I, I'm sorry. I mean, maybe call me, maybe, maybe call me ignorant, but what I am responsible for is the programming here at the facility. At the facility. Okay. Uh, Jennifer, uh, uh, I spoke to you about uniforms and stuff like that, and, and I, I remember you said something about that. The city, the city already has a contract with, with someone. We have vendors, we have vendors that we have to use. If, for example, um, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with SCORE. I think you talked to me about it. Yeah. Well, well SCORE just uh, took it another level. They, they were only uh, doing AYSO soccer, and then they moved on, and they're doing uh, big leagues now. Mm -hmm. Uh, they've all, uh, actually opened up a line for basketball and for uh, baseball, and, and those are uh, baseball, basketball, soccer. I mean, those, those are you know, if, if for example, let's say uh, we were able to get some type of a a, a big huge discount with score, would it be possible? Not, not a discount because I can't pay anyone who isn't approved through the general service department. General we have service. actual we have actual contracts. So we can only, even if I can go to, let's say, Big Lots and get clipboards for 50 cents, I still have to buy them to lots of people because that's my the authorized supplier for clipboards. Okay. So that's the way it works in the department. Like you guys bid and then we have specific places that we have to get our stuff. And it's, I think there's certain requirements that um, they have to meet and it's to prevent conflict of interest. So let's say I open up... Um, a computer store and I work for the park you know my husband has a computer store and I'm like okay I'm only gonna buy computers from him yeah. oh, and how about how, so how about to, getting to, that company will have, have that, to go through the park yeah that company will have, have to, to do a business plan submit pretty much you know how they make the uniform where it comes the material like you know whatever the requirement is yeah, there's like to be a vendor for parks and rent. And it's my understanding there's certain like workman's comp insurance, they also have to do, um, it's an EEO, Equal Employment Opportunities, uh, affirmative yeah, action, like license. they have to do, you know, it's all. The, the reason I brought that up is because uh, earlier you mentioned about if we could get someone to help out, you know, lower the cost and stuff like that. It would be like a donation to the park. Um, to pay for the uniform. So instead of me paying uh, like four thousand dollars for basketball uniforms, I would only pay two thousand because I got a, another two thousand from an outside. What if they donate the uniforms? Do we try something like that? I'm sure that I'm sure that could work. So we um, could get we could get like a sponsorship, pay that company, and then that company in return donates it to the park for that specific program. The, the reason I bring that up is because uh, they just sponsored all the uniforms for my club. And it's better than Nike because it's much cheaper, you know what I mean? So you save a lot of money. And Jose, my contact at Sport, I was thinking, because what you just said about the whole uniform thing, I was thinking maybe if I speak to them, they could sponsor this year, you know, to promote their uniforms. And if they give the uniforms for all the sports coming up, that'd be great because then we can lower the prices even much yeah. lower, right? Because the most expensive thing are the uniforms, correct? The only, the only, I mean, that's awesome. The only problem is I don't have a say in, in who I order from. Like, it's contract and this is who you need to order from. So they would need to maybe make that bid through general service department, the uh, purchasing. There's a, a thing for it. Um, but it's, it's our, I think it's our RFOs. But there's an actual contract. They go bid and then they'll decide, like, so at Ramona Hall. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's through the city finance department, basically. But it's, it's the same one in the city, or the record parks are something more strict in the city? No, it's, 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 it's the, the city is only a one-page form I have it. Which is that anybody who wants to visit the city as a private person, fill out this one-page form, and I was told to be done. It takes 30 days, and within 30 days, you can start doing business with the city. Oh, that's the business the tax registration. No, this is an actual contract. I'm going to forward to you. Okay. So done. Don gave it to me. I didn't make it. That's, it's a BTR, so it's called Business Tax Registration Certificate. Because that's what our officials, our officials here are independent contractors. They fill that out, um, they're working as independent contractors, or you know, and that's how we pay them. Um, but there's an uh, actual plan, like a bid, like when, once a contract expires, we'll have a contract for a certain amount of time, I don't know if it's a year or two years. And then uh, they have contractors come in and like bid, like they'll have three or four different uniform companies, and then they'll pick who's the main supplier of, you know, basketball. Right now we have two different, someone does basketball and soccer and someone does baseball and uh, football. So it depends on who you use for what sport. Jeffrey, so like, 
So basically what he said about funding, like for, like for programs or for the park, if you want to wrap, to come down here and give us a workshop on, on how to get more funding for the park, will we contact you to have them, uh, will you, will you yeah, call every, them? Yeah, everything would be through me. If you guys give me your ideas, and then I would contact my supervisor and say, okay, what's acceptable, what isn't. Some of the stuff I know, like I know we can't have car washes. You know, I know that we were not supposed to sell because unless we have a health license, a uh, health uh, for the Department of Health, we're not supposed to sell cooked food. Like we can't make a, a spaghetti dinner and you know sell that because if someone gets sick, we weren't up to par with you know department code. I don't know what health code is. There's a possibility because we have um, events and um, festivals all the time, so there's a possibility that that can be done. And I believe there is a certain type of insurance that's needed in case you get someone sick. But we can, for example, let's say we wanted to do a snack bar. If you went out and you bought a box of chips and then you sold it and whatever money you made or you, we had someone sell whatever money that was made came into like the fund, you know, uh, as a donation, then we could do that. That is definitely fundraising. We can do we can do like as long as it's like prepackaged food. Now, talk about this topic. Do you attend other meetings as well, or yeah. is just us? No, no, no. So you also attend. Mm -hmm. So you'll be the one in charge of the itinerary, the agenda. Mm -hmm. Okay. I put together the agenda, but uh, the president, and I think there's a sergeant at arms. Is there a sergeant at arms in there? Mm -hmm. That would basically move us along with. We went off topic. <laughs> so who uh, will decide if uh, we're fit to join? At this point, it's me trying to revitalize the path. <laughs> so I'll take your applications into consideration, and I'll see. Yeah, <laughs> I'll see who really is invested in, and wants to participate and come. Take you to like right now, there's two people that I invited to come and they didn't show up. So there's a possibility that everybody just that showed up and showed interest is, is in. Uh, we want an uneven number, and then you can't. Um, you basically can't be related to. You can't bring in like a spouse or a sister. Yeah. Ideally, that's what you want because you want representation. Um, however, I know. Yes, he's the only representative from an organization, so you're not the type. Okay, so like if you were, I don't know, uh, who would be an organ? Club Deportivo. Well, either way, you're <laughs> someone else from Club Deportivo would be able to participate. Isaac, are you from Club Deportivo? He's our vice president. Throwing <laughs> 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 you under the bus. No, I'm okay. So I, ideally it would be, I mean, in my situation, I would love to have someone from the, from the skate park. The aquatic facilities, I don't really, I don't program there, I don't have anything to do with it, um, but they can participate. The seniors also, um, I would love to have someone from the seniors, but they don't want to. <laughs> uh, I've tried and, and they, you know, their excuses, you don't deal with seniors' uh, projects, you don't your focus is on the park and it's really that your meetings are really late at night. Um, so, you know, it's their bedtime. Um, maybe I'll establish the own, you know, park advisor group, but I know they also have a senior club there that all, that does, you know, they meet and they discuss and there's only one club there. So the need for, for advisement, if you just talk to the club. Here we don't have anything like that. So if I have a problem with, uh, with the sports and I need to make a decision, and I need input, you know, I can decide it, but getting an input from the park advisor, or having, you know, what do you think we should do in this situation, um, would help me not feel like, oh yeah, if something went wrong, it's all, it's all <laughs> on me. <laughs> She's looking for partners. Just huh? so like, oh no, they you. told me to. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely appreciate your support, and and what I really need is uh, your time, your time and your energy to help me decide things, and to help me cook, <laughs> cook and decorate, and get donations for our, our events.
So the next one will be 27, 14, and you have everything already? Or no, do I don't. Donate? If you guys know of anyone who's willing to donate eggs, milk, uh, butter, uh, pancake mix, uh, orange juice, Wells Fargo's bringing coffee. Um, what else do we need? Well, we need to go to Chase and tell Chase, oh, you know what? <laughs> Well, Spark was bringing in They did it. They did it two years ago, but I think having two banks in one uh, place. And the thing is, I go to the bank every day, like every week, a couple times a week, and they recognize me. So I was like, let me ask these guys. They said they were going to bring a box of ponies, and uh, they were going to bring little giveaways and coffee. A box of what? Why do I want to talk ponies? to like, uh, you know when you sign up for a checking account? They're horse. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh like, hey. He looks. <laughs> the carriage. <laughs> so, Stefan, I really appreciate your participation. Uh, I hope you know to get your application back, to get your fingerprints back. Um, and if you think you can't do it, uh, maybe participate as you know, as needed. Maybe just come in. Uh, Park Advisory Board meetings are open to the public, so you can come in at any time. They have to be posted, so you'll know when. I, um, I have your number now, so I can text you. Um, or if you know someone else, I also reached out to Gonzo, uh, Alonzo, yeah, Alonzo, uh, because I see him often at the skate park too, and that's important feedback, especially like I had a meeting yesterday and the possibility of them donating something. Um, it's really rough, but it's exciting, and you guys are the best. Like they're asking me, like, what do you, where would you want to put it? And I was like, I want to skate here. You know what? I can give you what my opinion is. What would flow nice? But you guys are the ones that are invested. Do you know uh, Terrell Robinson? I heard of Terrell Robinson? He's a professional skater. I know. I don't know how many of you are. Yes, I got into his shirt. I know Terrell Robinson is not that old. He was just a champion at the X Games two years ago. He started skating six months ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just saying to you, no, I, I, I was not aware about the skate park, so I mean, that's something where I could help out because I know him personally, bringing him in out to the uh, skate park and teach you guys, you know, professional level stuff. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. We don't do events out there, we don't program, I mean, we try to program, we have a, a few, like, skateboard class, I think you guys have seen that, like, where the teachers, like, with three students in there. Um, so, uh, it'll be once a month uh, to start, and then it'll be every three months, depending on the momentum of the board. And the board really decides, you know, if there's things that are pressing, then we'll, you know, we'll meet monthly. But if if there's really no, nothing to discuss, there's no need for us to meet monthly. The, the requirement is one supporter. You guys don't have any questions for me um, uh, how, how soon do you think this board will, will actually... Uh, I mean, I'd like to kick it off uh, maybe the beginning of December, especially since uh, we haven't had one at all, and our event's around the corner, and I would love help at the event. Well, let me have one of those letters, and I'll see what I can get you. Thank you. Um, I will go to the You don't, don't have to come. I'll come pick it up. Talk to their loan department. You normally want to speak to like the specialized department, not to like customer service. Oh, okay. yeah. So speak to like their loan officer yeah. department or uh, well, the customer loan department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Paul Kelly. He oh, doesn't okay. anymore. Oh, he doesn't work anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I put their logos on our program. Yeah, no, if not the logos, at least their names. Your, I mean, Blue Deportivo was on there, so they the donations will be um, recognized. And I send out thank you letters. Again, they have our tax ID number. Um, I'm going to go to Target because I notice Target does a lot of things for everybody in the neighborhood except for us, except for the park. So don't go to Target, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to go, oh, I, I, somebody already came. <laughs> now, the, are you able to access like a area map? Uh, the community businesses? I, I've been doing Google and I have a couple of friends uh, that have worked with me before who are just going up and down Eastern and Huntington and Valley. They went to Cha Cha Cha. Uh, they went to um, Pink Torta. 
And then I was like, just a little mom and pop. Even if you get a stick of butter, you know, a stick of butter, it's less, something less that we have to acquire. I could probably get you something for the 14th as far as eggs, clothes, and that stuff. Uh -huh. Obviously not from this community, but I can bring it to the community. <laughs> you know, it'll be appreciated. Um, toys, too. I mean, we have toys, but, you know, we always expect a really big crowd. Um, or less than how much eggs are you for? How many, how many toys do you have? Uh, three, I, I three bags. Three big bags. Three toys. I have a sort of. So, bags are like I was busy yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, today I have a meeting and this meeting. So, um, and I'm working on the soccer stuff as well. The tournament, actually, the officials. I'll do the roster free right now. Um, so, I can count, I'll have a count for you Monday, Thursday, but definitely towards in the box of ponies, I don't know how many ponies are in that box, but that'll give us a little more. So you don't need one to every, every kid? We have. Knock on wood, this is my uh, second practice at Santa, and everyone's got me a toy. They might be their uh, staff group. Awesome. <laughs> 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 the kid says, "What? I thought Santa was white." You know, my dad, my dad's been Santa at every park since I was like 19 when I was that. And uh, when I got here to El Cerrito, they were like, "No, we have our own Santa." I was like, "Sorry." And my dad was excited. He's like, "Am I gonna be Santa for you?" And I was like, "Sorry, Dad." <laughs> oh. yeah, and he, he still asks me. He's like, "Do you go out?" And I was like, oh. "Santa." Well, can you have two? Huh? Can you have two? We only have one suit. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I appreciate your help and interest. If you guys can get your applications back to me, if you don't have them today, you know, hopefully next week sometime, and then let me know that your fingerprints are going through. I'd really appreciate it, and then we'll set a date, hopefully first first week, and that's already next week. First week in December to start our training. First or second week in December to start our training. And of course, you guys are more than welcome to help out uh, Friday the 13th uh, to set up. And uh, Saturday the 14th, uh, you know, just we I, I can't help. I'm on Saturday, but I will help you on Friday. I really appreciate you already have a party? Do you have coffee and Yeah, I do. I will on if you guys want it. I'll go buy. I have great coffee from New Orleans that I bought at a, oh. a ranch market, and then I'll buy cookies from you guys. Oreos? They're on sale or, for two ninety nine at Target right now. Uh, or Friday night? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay. I'll bring my coffee. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no. Going back to the, the I have it. Of eggs and all that stuff. Um, would you have somewhere to store it? Yes. If I were to the seniors, get it? the seniors have big refrigerators. Okay. Um, so like that, I can make some phone calls and call them. I know you can get stuff like that. That would be awesome. I really appreciate it. Um, so just so everybody understands, and so I understand, the main focus of the Park Advisory Board is to assist with programming and services. That's what I need you so, for, yes. Um, as far as like all like the funding and, you know. Because it's stuff that I cannot uh, answer, uh, uh, but they will definitely, I mean, if something comes into play, like if something's needed and they have a project, uh, if they have a project that they need, they're going to ask me, what does your park advisory board think? They might have, you know, option A, B, or C, what, what, do you guys, what would you guys prefer? But as far as what I have control over, if you guys are going to ask me, you know, about Prop K and other funding, I can't help you guys. I don't want so to I need your support. Yeah, but you're the, 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 the meetings can be easily consumed with just talking about funding as opposed to more focus on Programming, so. Oh, we're just focused yeah, on what's on the agenda and not worry about everything else. Yeah. I think that's how it's So, yeah, I would, I would appreciate, you know, your support as far as programming goes because that's what I have control over. Well, uh, Jennifer, Jennifer, fun, so Jennifer can, can you help us, though, yeah. maybe, if you don't want to sure. do this, do you, I think it would be beneficial for CAP members to know how to access um, Prop K and how to fill up these applications. You being the director here, can you support us and... Connecting us with the person from RAP or from the consulman's office and helping us through the process of Prop K because, you know, maybe I cannot be part of that, but if I could help out filling out Prop K applications, getting funding for the bar, then, you know, that's... I can find out, um, you know, 
you're more than welcome as just a community member, you don't have to be part of the PAP, to ask me and what I would do is forward the email to either my supervisor or the council office and say, you know, they're interested in, in this and I don't even know how it works in the department. I don't know if you guys can, I know we have our own grant writing department, so I don't even know if we can write grant proposals to, re to be received. Yeah, so if you could at least find out for us, you know, if we could get support from the grant writing um, department, if we could sit down with um, people from RAP to show us what things that we need to do. Because you have a number of community, uh, community members who are interested and is inter um, willing to invest that time in writing up grants, asking for money to make this park a better place. So if you could at least help us with that. Yeah, I mean, like great. I said, send me an email and I could forward it to them and maybe they'll be able to respond to you. Because, yeah, definitely is it something that I do. I know we have our own grant writing, but I think that they already have, like, things that they're writing for. And yeah. how the money is received and approved and allocated. But this board would put the, the truth show and you can't have funding allocated to the right things. You know what I'm saying? You just, you just can't write a grant and not talk to the board because... Within a little sense, you know what I mean? You get all of us would have to have an input and say, well, what's more important, or where would it go, how much do we need? That kind of thing, you know what I mean? Because that's, that's the way it works, otherwise, you do different things without any coordination. Yeah. Yeah. You know, whether it's sports, whether it's something for sports, or the, the you know, the cost, I mean, the money out there. Right? It's not really good. First, we have to, you know, first, we have to create the scene. Yeah. Work, and then we have to work at the small level, and then work our way up to. This. But, she, but she's saying that in the meantime, this is getting off. People can do it on the side. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. yeah. They come in and say, look, we have this. What do you guys do about this? Right, right. At, at a meeting, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes on the line. And, 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 and nowadays, it's, I think it's right. fairly easy to find those people. Like, yeah. you know, he has that contact, that link in. So it's like rather than going to Jennifer that has no idea, it's like we'll get to his contact. Remember, we can just uh, go down to reach out and get that. Like, right, exactly. So we I mean, we can go in and improve in our community. But like, as, as a board, board, as a 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 board, as we need to wait for the PAB form, the PAB gets together, then when the PAB gets together, right. we're going to share all those questions so, you have, so we're, we're going to share all that. If you could help on the staff. I originally had done something like this two years ago, you know, and I was working with the Inclusive Office, but then it all fell apart because the lack of having a, a group, an organization, and the lack of the community. So again, there's no point to try, you know, to do it as a one person or two person if there's no team. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so, so last year I was here as a, as a, as a, as a resident. I was not a board member, but I came to almost every meeting, along with some other people here. Because I, I thought, I can't maybe turn into a meeting, but I can do other things and help out the park, you know, right. some other ways. Because every now, I mean, um, we, have, we have kids, we have a different schedule, so I don't like to make it. But last year I thought, you know, at least, you know, at least attend and see what, they, what we hear, what, it is, what the needs are at. So I think, as it's, in that sense, it'll be a good team because all of us here are different. You know, your coaches, your parents, and, and you can do everything. You know, uh, and I, again, some of us can do coaching, can do all this, but there's other ways you can help out. Yeah. And I think that I think funding is a big thing. Even for programs, you need funding. Right. You can't have a program without funding because then you have a program that's not quality. It's more just whatever it's done together. I think it's important to have the funds that are out there. The city has funds. I mean, right. other parts of the city. Sorry. You know, I'm say, let's yeah. work on establishing first the park advisory board. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, nominating its officers, actually getting people to attend meetings. Let's work on the, what we can control, which is programming. And then we can invite outside, or once we get, you know, a solid run, then we can invite outside organizations to work on, you know, we can do the little committees to work independently on a project and then bring it to the table. But, like I said, I don't have control over those things. What I do have control over is the programming. So if you guys can help me with programming, like, hey, Roxy, you live by the school. Can you drop off a thousand flyers for me? That's one less person. Either if I go drop them off, I have to pay someone to be here in the office. If I ask someone to drop them off for me, I have to pay the person to go drop them off for me. So if you guys as community members can help me, I mean, I can do the Farmdale, you know, uh, Al Sereno, either way, if I walk down there, you know, the office is by itself. So if you guys can help me with the programming, you know, improving our numbers, improving uh, how we operate, uh, what entices coaches to come back. Like, it was awesome we had a, a coach, coach uh, coaches versus the 
the juniors coaches versus staff culminating event. If we did things like that, that like gave El Sereno the reputation of that's the park where I want my kids to go and that's where I want to participate at, that's my goal. It's for you guys to be invested, to like it, to want it, and to perfect all the little problems. Like, you guys always order my, my son's uniform way too tight or way too big, you know? <laughs> to try to get someone in here, hey, help me look at all these sizes and make sure we got the right ones. Help me uh, make sure that all these parents answered, you know, the uniform question. Uh, help me with an email list. You know, these are the participants. Let's, you know, let's get the email list going so we can e-blast a, a flyer. We can get the community, you know, every first Saturday of February is going to be uh, registration for baseball. Every, you know, no, first Saturday in November is going to be registration for basketball. And if we all are on board and we all get that information out, then our program grows in numbers and quality. And it's all just investment in time. And that is what I do have control over. Have you guys seen the newspaper, the community weekend? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So, so we, we're printing like 19,000 this weekend, and we're going to distribute to 13,400 homes around here. And so if you want to have like a positive image of the community, we need people to write articles on different things in the park. Like I wrote articles about the karate program, about the swimming program, a soccer coach is going to write about the soccer program, but different coaches are different things, skating. You guys can write different things, and we'll put it to everyone in the community reads it. I love that. I've been sending them just stuff. calendar dates because if I write something up, I have to send it through publishing and marketing and they have to approve it and then they get sent to him. So I'm just, with him, I'm just like, this is when we're breakfast with Santa. This is when we're going to do our registration for um, baseball or basketball or whatever's coming up. And also we have a, a park link, a web page. So all our soccer schedules are on there, our basketball flyers. Uh, I don't think the breakfast with Santa's up there yet. But normally what I do is I create the flyer, I send it to publishing, and then I send it to uh, our webmaster to po post it online. So I'm trying to get, uh, everyone has a smartphone nowadays, and they can just pull up their schedules on their phone. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> my phone is smart, but it's locked. <laughs> but being able, to, being able to pull up the flyers and information on your, you know, on your phone, on your computer, if you forgot, oh, what time does my kid play? You can log on, okay at 6 tonight. Yeah, we need to get it started. We need to get yeah, it started with the, with the basics, you know, started. I mean, um, you know, a lot of us have been to one of these meetings, but we, if we're not involved in the meeting, we, we don't you know, open the, opening the meeting, closing the meeting, doing all that, all that fun stuff. So, so that we could get, you know, get the basics first, and then we can talk about all the, all the money. Two and a half years here, and uh, yeah, I kind of have a cap. <laughs> so yes, it would be exciting to uh, continue working with you guys and getting this, you know, off and running and actually having officers and having regular meetings. Um, so I would look forward to meeting with you guys and just help, you know, your help and your investment and your, your community, your kids. Well, actually, it's our community, our kids. Thank you. It's Jennifer. J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R. You don't need to see yet, right? Dot Rockwell, R-O-C-K-W-E-L-L, at LACity.org. It's my first one. Slash. Cover should be. I don't have it with me. I can get it on the email. Did he give you an extra? Yeah. 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 Don't see that stuff. I really, really don't. Like, the, the shape structure over the diamonds, I came up with it, I was working on it.